Welcome friends uh, to the session which is going to deal with global indicators and how the global indicators affect uh, the flight routes and uh, the travel by flight. My name is Amruta Haldankar and uh, I'm a trainer in aviation, tourism and hospitality. Now let us check uh, the third GI which we have that is third global indicator which we have which is denoted by the letters A that is transatlantic routes okay now there are four cases of four different combinations where in AT may occur okay the first one that we are uh, dealing with is AT where in the travel is within uh, sorry is between area one that is traffic conference area one and area two so clearly if any flight wants to cross over from area one to area two and it has to take this route it will be crossing over Atlantic so that's transatlantic route so transatlantic travel between area one and area 2 will fall under 80. So this is the first example over here wherein we are talking about Chicago to London. Chicago is in USA area 1, London is in UK area 2. So clearly this particular flight when taken will be crossing over Atlantic. So it's a GI or the global indicators will be 80. The other one is Madrid which is in Spain which is in Europe and then is Lima which is in Peru which is in South America that's area 1. So we again have area 2 to area 1 wherein the GI will be AT. Let us check uh, what is the second case when AT might be the GI. So AT is uh, uh, is what which happens when traffic conference area 1 and 2 is there. So we have Chicago which is in USA, North, uh, North America area 1 crossing over Atlantic to London which is UK area 2. So that's AT. Next is uh, Madrid which is in Spain and going across to Lima which is again in South America area 1. So in either case we are crossing Atlantic Ocean so that's AT. So let us check where else uh, AT comes, uh, which is the second case of when AT or transatlantic will be the GI. So we are talking about AT when it comes when the travel is between area 1, area 2, area 3. So what is happening is the flight is taking a route or departing from area 1 say and it is crossing over Atlantic. So that is how the name is given to transatlantic. Then it comes to traffic conference area 2 and then further ahead to traffic conference area 3. Also vice versa is possible. One more condition that we have over here is it has to be except for South Atlantic uh, area so uh, clearly AT will be travel between TC1 and TC3 when it has a wire point at uh, TC2 that is tra traffic conference area 2 and via Atlantic Ocean all right so this are examples over here which is YTO which is Toronto and uh, then it goes to London which is UK which is area 2 and then Hong Kong which is area 3 the second example that we have is Perth which is in Australia which is in area 3, Abu Dhabi which is in Middle East area 2 and further ahead to Vancouver which is in Canada which is North America area 1. So these are the examples wherein the global indicators will be 80 and the, uh, and the traffic conference areas involved are 1, 2 and 3. Next is AT uh, again where in 1, 2 and 3 all 3 areas are uh, there. So the first example that is there is uh, Toronto which will be over here, London, uh, UK so that's area 1, area 2 crossing North Atlantic and uh, then we have area 3 point which is Hong Kong which is over here. So we have area 1 crossover at Atlantic, area 2 and area 3. The next example which is there is Perth which is Australia, next is Abu Dhabi in uh, Middle East all right and then in uh, Vancouver again area 1 so we are again area 3 area 2 crossing over Atlantic and area 1 so uh, we have a uh, third case where in AT can be the GI now this is a typical case which again involves traffic conference area 1 area 2 and area 3 but there are certain conditions for example in area 1 the flight has to be from USA Canada and it has to be a direct service across Atlantic and landing at TC3 at uh, SASC so that is the condition over here are two conditions in area 1 it has to go from USA Canada and area 3 it has to come to SASC that is South Asian subcontinent. So in that case, it will be uh, AT, that is Transatlantic Global Indicator. So over here, if we take a typical example, which is Chicago, which is in uh, USA, and uh, which is uh, Colombo, which is in Sri Lanka, which falls under the traffic conference sub area, SASC. So over here, the route would be AT. 
so we have 80 again where in a 1 2 and 3 all of them are combined but it's a transatlantic direct flight so if it is from USA and Canada so I am from USA Canada uh, from there coming uh, to a direct flight at Colombo Sri Lanka so that is Chicago to Sri Lanka direct flight across Atlantic now let us check uh, what is the fourth uh, condition or the fourth case wherein AT can be the GI. So we have your typical example wherein again the areas which are included are area 1, 2 and 3. So that's traffic conference area 1, traffic conference 2 and traffic conference 3. But there are more conditions to it. Suppose if the flight is moving from SATL that's South Atlantic uh, zone and ABCPU that's the same one alright and crossing across uh, the Atlantic and when it is coming to traffic conference conference too but there is one more condition over here uh, suppose if it is also going to a flight which is central which is landing in central as a uh, central southern Africa and Indian Ocean Islands then the travel should also be in some other traffic conference areas that is outside such uh, zones all right so from traffic conference area 2 the flight will go ahead to area 3 but provided to only this many that is SEA countries and SASC countries so these are the conditions wherein it has to be an 80 but uh, if this particular condition is not taken it can be some other uh, GI so all these conditions which are written has to be there in order to qualify as an 80 so we have a typical example over here where in the flight leaves from Buenos Aires which is a part of SATL then it is going to Paris which is in area 2 but is not in this many countries uh, and uh, then it goes ahead to Hong Kong which is a part of Southeast Asia in area 3 the next example that we have is Kathmandu which is in Nepal again in SASC area 3. It further ahead goes to Abu Dhabi which is in Middle East area 2 and uh, Sao Paulo which is again in SATL zone. So this both of them will have AT as a global indicator. Now we have 80 again uh, wherein we have uh, Buenos Aires uh, which is over here at Argentina all right next we, uh, it goes to Paris which is over here in Europe area 2 and next is Hong Kong which is uh, your area 3 and uh, there is uh, no other uh, areas which are there in area 2 so that becomes an 80. Next example is of Kathmandu which is in uh, Nepal that is at area 3 then Abu Dhabi area 2 and Sao which is again in uh, South Atlantic zone so that is one more example for it. I hope this session on global indicators was helpful and uh, it is going to help you in finding out the global indicators if you know ITA areas and sub areas. Uh, you may find uh, my profile on uh, LinkedIn if you have any queries about this session. Thank you so much. Have a great day.